As Shaw Brothers films go, we've always had a soft spot for the eight diagram pole fighter. Not because it's a particularly brilliant movie, it is, but that's not the reason. Nor is it to do with the fact that Gordon Liu stars in quite a prominent role, even though Liu is one of our favourite martial artists. No, the reason that this piece of cinema has a special place in our black little hearts is because this was the last film that Alexander Fu Sheng ever made. For those of you who don't know, Sheng was a very talented and successful Hong Kong movie star of the 70s, whose career was almost cut short due to a series of serious accidents between 1978 and 1979. He was supposed to take the lead in Snake and the Eagle's Shadow, but couldn't, and as we all know, that role went to Jackie Chan and the rest is history. Sheng fought his way back from this series of disappointments, and though he never fully recovered, he was still considered a huge star in Hong Kong. During the shooting of the 8 Diagram Pole Fighter, he was being driven home by his brother when his Porsche failed to make a turn and slammed into a concrete wall. He died in hospital three hours later. During the film, you will notice that Shane's character just disappears and we are never given a reason why. Well, now you know why. The movie itself starts with a prediction from the Yang's mother that in the upcoming battle in Jinsha, of the seven brothers sent, only six will return, but it will be a worthwhile sacrifice if it benefits the Sung dynasty, though we doubt the soon-to-be-dead brother would see it that way. This prediction is further enhanced in the next scene when we're introduced to the Empress's father, who is working with the Lao dynasty to overthrow the current Emperor, who storms into the palace to inform her that her brother was beaten to death at a tournament by Yang Yi's seventh son, Yang Si. This leads the Empress to realise that instead of pleading with the Emperor for justice, as this wouldn't work due to the Yang secure position on the Council, it'd be just easier to bump them off at the Battle of Jinsha, and away we go. What follows is the first of many pole fights, no sniggering at the back, and as you would expect, the choreography is excellent. The Yang boys, though hopelessly outnumbered, proceed to kick many levels of bad guy asses until they are undone by Kung Fu treachery in the form of an exploding tent and the magical appearance of about 20 or so fellas from behind that tent. Half blinded and half blown up, they fight valiantly until sheer numbers, and in one brother's case lack of eyeballs, overwhelms them and most are killed, including their father who pops out of nowhere just for the sole purpose of being brutally slaughtered, leaving only the four, fifth and six brothers to survive the massacre. So much for the opening prediction then. After this, things just go from bad to worse for the Yangs. The fourth brother is captured by Lao and never heard of again, though the script source says he marries a Lao princess. The sixth brother finds his way back to the home palace, but unfortunately, having witnessed the massacre of his family, he's now as crazy as a sack of rabid badgers. And the fifth brother has it away pretty sharpest because as a survivor, he's now seen as a traitor. Time passes and Gordon Liu finds his way to a Shaolin temple, as is the custom in these sort of films, where he trains until he is ready to return and seek revenge. Yay, revenge which he finally does after he learns that his eighth sister has been captured by the Laos. Eight sisters, seven brothers. Christmas must have been murder at that house. After proving to his master that he is ready to leave in one of the greatest monk vs monk fights ever captured on celluloid, he heads back to civilization to lay a few boots to asses. A few whoopings here and a few spears to the face there, and everyone who has wronged the Yangs lays dead or dying, leaving Gordon Liu to walk off into the sunset because, as he says to his now freed eighth sister, the world is my home. The Eight Diagram Pole Fighter is a brilliant film and one that any Kung Fu movie fan should have in their collection. It's fast paced with plenty of fighting, it has excellent choreography, it has Gordon Liu kicking ass, and as we stated at the start, it has the last appearance of Alexander Fu Sheng in it, what more could you ask for? But what do you think? Are any of you fans of the Eight Diagram Pole Fighter? Sound off in the comments section and let us know.